hello all so in last lecture we have learned how we can create the data in the bigquery as well as how we can create a table or export data in the bigquery table so in this video we are going to learn how we can control the access in bigquery so let's get started i have one project uh, my first project here and i have two users in the same project uh, one is my currently owner account and i have created a one more users and i am logged in in incognito mode with that user so uh, this is my owner account and i could see like all the data sets available in the bigquery project so i could see the big demo detail billing dev my billing production so all these data set uh, in my bigquery and i have another user in the same project in my first project i'll just go to bigquery and i'll see what are the all data set i can see okay so here i can see only dev data set now i want this user to have access to my production data set as well so i'll provide the access let's see how we can provide access to production data set so i'll go to my production data set and i'll click on share data set so once i click it will give me option to add principles so i'll add that email id of another user and i'll select the role from bigquery so these are the levels so we have to assign role on project level bigquery level so i am going to assign role on bigquery so bigquery data viewer and added click on done so let's see if this user is able to see the production data set now yes so this user is able to see the production data set now let's see which all tables are available in production data set so we could see there are two tables available employee and finance let's see if we can carry this table so i'll just query first on the employee table and i'll run the query okay now i got all the columns and i'll just compose a new query and i'll fire a query on my finance so this query is valid and i am able to query both the tables and see the data from the both the tables so now suppose we have a case here like uh, i have a team and i want to provide production access i, I directly given access to production data set now uh, i want few of the members only can access both the tables like suppose i want some of only the manager can access uh, data from the finance table and, or view data from finance table so we can give the data access like user access on table level as well so we'll see how we can give access to table level so first we'll go here and we'll remove the access from the data set level so how we can do that so we'll go to the production data set access level and we have given the data visual access so i'll just remove email from here user email click on done and now i want to give access to only employee table so now i go to table and i'll click on the share table and i'll give the user email a role i'll give bigquery data viewer and i'll click on add and i'll click on done so now i'll go to user account 
I'll just paste a query. I'll reload my page here. And I'll run my query. I'll run query on employee again. Okay, we missed one thing here. So we need to remove access from finance table as well because we only removed from data set level and not a table level. So I'll remove. Okay, so here is no access. Let's just take a few minutes to refresh. Okay, first I'll check if uh, user is having access to employee table. Okay, and I'll run it. Okay, the query is valid and I got the result. Now I'll check on finance table, which is in the same. Okay, and here I got the message that user do not have permission to query table finance even if i click on run it will throw an error that user do not have permissions so user only able to access data from employee data employee table and not from a finance now i want to give access to finance table as well so i'll just go and i'll add user email Okay, now I want to go my user account. Okay, here if I just paste the same query again. Okay, the same query is valid now because I got the access and earlier the message was access denied uh, on the query result and it shows like query failed. Now I'll rerun the same query and the query will return me the result. Okay, fine.